Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to ATN Bangla. This is Rahbar Khan with the news. First, the UP headlines. Prime Minister urges government employees to perform their duty, keeping in mind that emoluments are paid from taxes of the people. Ten newly constructed 20 storey residential buildings inaugurated. Flood situation in northern region is static. River erosion in Rongpur. And drug-addicted people would not get government jobs, says Home Minister. Now, on to the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has urged government officials and staff to perform their duties, keeping in mind that the salary and allowances are paid from the taxes of the people. She made the call after inaugurating 10 newly constructed 20 storey buildings at Azimpur and Motichil in the capital for government employees. Side by side, the Prime Minister also advised them to be more careful while using gas, power and water. About 988 government families would live in these buildings. The Prime Minister also informed that there is planned for these types of buildings in phases in all districts and upazilas in the country. The Prime Minister further said the development works are becoming visible owing to continuity of the government. She called upon the people of the country to continue this trend. Awami League President and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has directed the leaders and workers to work with the mindset of winning in all the parliamentary seats. Awami League President and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has directed the leaders and workers to work with the mindset of winning in all the parliamentary seats. She gave the directive at the third phase special extended meeting of the grassroots level leaders and workers at Ghanabhaban. Mentioning the upcoming election as challenging, the Prime Minister also directed them to resolve area-wise internal conflicts. BNP Standing Committee member Barrister Modud Ahmed has urged the government to sit for dialogue after releasing party chairperson Khalid Azir if they want participatory election. At a discussion held at the National Press Club, he said the matter would be decided in the streets if the court does not give verdict in favour of Khalid Azir's release. Again, demanding national election under a neutral government, the BNP leader said an all-party unity will be created to forge the government to accept their demand. Flood situation in most of the areas of the northern region remained unchanged. Despite slight recession of the water level of River Dharla in Kurigram, it is still flowing above the danger level. The water level of River Brahmaputra increased by 12 centimetres. As a result, sufferings of thousands of marooned people increased further. On the other hand, more than 50 houses were washed away at Gongachora of Rongpur during last one week. Meanwhile, fresh areas were inundated due to rise in water level of River Jomuna at Shirajkond. Low-lying areas were also inundated at Bahadurabad point of Jamalpur due to rise of water level of River Jomuna. Home Minister Asaduzaman Khan Kamal has informed that the drug-addicted people would not get government jobs. He said that the candidates for government jobs would be examined by the civil surgeon to a certain addiction to drugs. Disclosing this at the freshest reception of Ideal Law College in the capital, he also said the drive against drugs would continue. Among others, the Director General of Narcotics Department, Jamaluddin Ahmed, spoke at the function. Veteran actress Rani Shorkar is no more. She breathed her last at a hospital in the capital this morning. Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi rajiun. Rani Sharkar was suffering from various old age ailments. Her body was taken to Channel I at Dejgao to pay last respect to her and later her namaz e was held at FDC premises. Various service-oriented organizations have started supplying environmental-friendly fuel to avoid felling of trees by Rohingya refugees in Cox's Bazar. 
an organization of Bangladesh expatriates in USA, Save Little Hands, Save Rohingya Children, and local organization Joy Jatra Foundation distributed rice husk, side-by-side, -side, other relief materials in the last two days. Various items were also distributed among 2,000 families. Besides, they were provided with health care and medicines through medical and eye camps. At this time, President of Chicago's voluntary organization, Save Little Hands, Asif Chaudhary, Joy Jatra Foundation Chairperson, Helena Jahangir and Vice Chairman, Captain Mohsinul Habib, an ATN Bangla Chairman's Advisor, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Mir Mutahar Hassan, were present. The E3 Union of TV Journalists Association was held in the port city Chottagram. City Mayor AZAM Nasiruddin was the chief guest. Among others, the president of the organization, Ali Abbas, general secretary of Chottagram Press Club, Shuklal Dash and Deputy Commissioner Ilya Hussain were present. The reunion ceremony was rounded off through a cultural function and raffle draw. Now, news from abroad. Torrents of rainfall and flooding battered a widespread area in southwestern Japan on Saturday, leaving at least 15 people dead and more than 50 missing. As the death toll continued to climb from the rainfall, which began earlier this week, Okayama Prefecture said a man caught in a landslide was pronounced dead. Finally, FIFA World Cup football. And England face off Sweden in the quarterfinals at 8 tonight. In the other quarterfinal, Croatia will take on Russia at 12 midnight tonight. And that's the end of this news bulletin. To view ATN Bangla News, browse www.youtube.com slash ATN Tube News. Subscribe and remain with ATN Bangla. Allah Hafiz.